Well, Christy Victor, good morning. Investigators have been focused on trying to figure out the source of that leak, and they believe that they found it in the basement of this legal seafoods restaurant behind me. The building has now been condemned for occupancy as this investigation continues. The investigation this morning by homicide and arson detectives centers on legal seafood's heating equipment, the apparent source of deadly carbon monoxide poisoning. It is scary that we were just sitting there. Kathy Sella and Ashley Harper were at the Cheesecake Factory in the Walt Whitman Mall in Huntington, New York, when the wait staff told the entire restaurant to get out. We were sitting at the bar, we were having a glass of wine, and then somebody came up. I think it was one of the waitresses. Yeah, and they were. And well, the light she said came that you had to leave. Police and emergency responders were called to the mall after a report that a woman had fallen and hit her head in the basement of legal seafoods. When authorities arrived and began investigating, they themselves reported feeling nauseated and dizzy, symptoms of carbon monoxide exposure. Restaurants in the area were immediately evacuated. We had to leave because I didn't want to, I didn't want to blow up or anything like that. So I didn't know how dangerous it was, and they just told us to you know, stay outside. Emergency crews found Legal Seafood's manager, 55-year-old Stephen Nelson, unconscious in the basement. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. More than two dozen other victims, including seven first responders, were also sickened by the gas and had to be taken to area hospitals with non-life-threatening symptoms. Now I think that that's scary that we were in the same building. And Legal Seafoods took to Twitter to offer condolences to Stephen Nelson's family. The restaurant also said on Twitter that they are devastated by the news of this leak.